Hello from beautiful Ontario, Canada. Last time, we checked out Bruce Peninsula National Park and took a glass bottom boat through the shipwreck capital of Canada. Now we're continuing our journey west across Canada, starting with a ferry to Manitoulin Island, which is actually the first ferry we've been on where our DIY camper van gets to come along with us. All right, we had a ferry to catch. That's gotta be us. I've never done this before, so I'm a little nervous. I think we made it on time. I think so. I have no idea how this works. Oh, they're moving. Hey, how are you? Not too bad. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Well, just give me a second. You gotta take a couple measurements. Sure thing. Do you have a bubble vent at the top of this? It is, but it's closed, so it's the same, same height, height as the railing. Yeah. What? Uh, I'm curious. What height did you get for it? You got about eight foot four. Eight foot four? Okay. Just doing those lineups down there. We'll get you in tight. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Take care. Have a great one. You too. So he said eight four for our height. I thought we were like nine feet. I thought we were at least nine feet, so I hope that's not a problem. That's cool though. I mean, we can go under a lot more tunnels than I thought we could then. I feel like it's not great that we didn't know exactly how tall our vehicle was, but we would just overestimate and it's been fine so far. We're not that tall. We just know, we can go through a lot of more drive-throughs than I thought. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay. I think they're checking the height. <laughs> What, what number did you get for the height? What, um, was it more than nine feet? It's just over eight and a half. Okay, so, I, that's what I thought too. I marked nine and six on the reservation, so yeah, I was... Yeah, like you're booked correctly, you're booked as a high vehicle. Yeah. Um, and then when I saw you, I was like, ah! Oh. Yeah, okay, I was, I was, I, that's what I thought too, I was confused. <laughs> All right, we're here. Yay. We have an hour and a half until at least. Oh, nice. We board in 30 minutes though, so. Oof, okay. So we got 30 minutes till we board. I've got to pee, so I'm really glad we got a little bit of extra time. Since we pulled up with enough time, we were able to go and find some washrooms and they were on the boardwalk, so we got a nice little view of Tobermory last look before we leave. And it's real cute here. This is our first time ever taking our van on a ferry. We're not really nervous about it, but we are kind of excited. I think it's like a cool thing to do. We've seen people do it on the internet, on other YouTube videos, and it's finally our turn to take our van on a ferry. It's kind of neat. It is, yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, been traveling in it for about a year now. and I think Jimmy made a friend. <laughs> our license plate has started a lot of conversations up here. <laughs> they smell like like fries with a bunch of ketchup. They're pretty good though. Mm -hmm. So is that the boat? Is that the oh, boat is it? right there? That giant thing? Is that the ferry? Uh no, I I don't I don't know. It's been here the whole time, so yeah. I don't think so. We're moving. Almost. They're moving. So exciting. Yeah. I like that we've been on the road for two years, almost two years, and there's still a bunch of firsts that we haven't done yet. That is fun, it's yeah. Fun. I don't think we'll ever run out. Yeah, I don't see how you could. There's so many things to do. Okay, that is our boat. That's the one I pointed Whoa, to. Whoa, okay, it's yeah. just been chilling here? Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Oh, so that's like, the, I think that pivots. <gasps> that's like that so cool. Thing comes down. So the top of the boat is lifted up. Yeah, I should probably pay attention to the road. I didn't expect to be parked inside. I was thinking like, oh, when we're on the boat, we're gonna get good solar power to our panels because we'll, you know, they'll just be out in the open ocean, but I know it's not an ocean, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked that we're inside. It's so cool. They put us right next to the main engine room. We figured we're gonna start exploring before the boat starts moving. So is this it? Oh, is it slide? This is so much bigger than I expected. Dining room. <laughs> A lounge deck. Welcome aboard the Chichimon Ferry. We will be departing in just a moment. The safety video will be played on monitors throughout the ship, as well as the donning instructions for your life jackets. Bienvenue à bord du Chichimon. Nous partons dans un instant. 
the dining room or the lounge? The lounge. Dude, I'm not gonna be able to find our way back to our van. I know, I'm so lost already. The real reason we wanted to come out and explore was so we could take note of where the lifeboats are because right now we're in the shipwreck capital of Canada. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I know where to go if things go south. Oh no. So we kind of made a mistake. We didn't realize. We were planning to leave the van and go and explore the boat and check out what's on the ferry and then come right back to the van and make lunch. Uh, and we didn't realize that you can't get back into your car while you're moving. And we've just started a two hour ferry ride, so we're not gonna stop moving for the next two hours. And it's like 1.30, we haven't had lunch yet. So I think we might have to figure something else out for lunch. Making the most out of our mistake, we decided to grab lunch in the cafeteria. The food was a solid five out of 10. Hot hamburger. Really nothing too special about it, except that we ate it on a ferry. I got the combos. Do those come with sodas? No. Although to be fair, we might have had a better experience if we weren't listening to this for the whole time we were eating. Seriously? The whole time. <laughs> because we weren't expecting to be separated from our van, we really didn't have much with us. Just one phone, one wallet, and a half-charged camera battery. We decided to wait out the time by exploring the decks and finally settled into a lounge area. We are now arriving at South Bay Would all vehicle drivers and the passengers please go to their vehicles in preparation for a minute. Thank you for traveling with the Old Town Transportation Company and have an excellent day. We're going to make an awesome place. I think that's Oh my god, <laughs> this is so much more comfortable. Let me get the lights. Oh. I cannot believe we locked ourselves out of our van, basically. <laughs> I feel like I don't think we would have been allowed to stay in the van even if we had, had not gotten out. I just wish we would have expected to not come back because I could have brought a book or at least my phone or a laptop and got some or, work done. Or a snack. <laughs> yes, or a snack. It was a fun experience though. I'm glad everything held up. Oh, it's uh, opening. Oh, no way. Oh, sunshine. Goodbye, Tobermory. Hello, Manitoulin Island. <laughs> <laughs> That's honestly a mouthful. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Where are we right now? <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's no one out here. I thought it was booked out, but we're the only campers. Seems a little sketchy, but... <laughs> Jimmy booked us a site at a dark sky preserve campground and it's not quite what we were expecting. Online it said it was totally booked out so we were expecting it to be really packed but we're literally the only campers out here and we're in site 46 so there's plenty of space for other campers at least 45 others but it's just us. Ooh. 
a little dark. It's 10.30, but we wanted to see the dark sky while we're here. You're not allowed to have any extra light, and it's supposed to be a really good way to view the stars. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> With 50 plus spots, we're the only people here. <laughs> uh. Did everyone else know it was going to be too cold? <laughs> we're the only ones who missed that memo. <laughs> Oh, we did not last very long out there. We're not allowed to use any white light, even though I think we're the only campers out here in this entire campground. But just to be sure, we don't want to ruin it for anyone else. So, so, so we sorry didn't you do couldn't it. see us on the last couple shots. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we really tried to capture tonight, but I think we did an awful, awful job. <laughs> we're going to go to bed, uh, get some well needed sleep. And we'll go explore Manitoulin Island tomorrow and we'll bring you along, obviously. This was the first place that I've gotten gas before I've paid. I've always seen signs for it, like, oh, don't run off without paying first. But I feel like all the pumps we've used are all modern, so they don't do that anymore. Yeah, it's like you have, this to, one. you have to scan your card at the pump. But right, yeah. That's very cool. That's real cool. Not our dog. <laughs> well, if you ever wondered what it'd be like to hike with a dog, this is it. Honestly, it's not bad. <laughs> he doesn't jump or anything. He's very sweet. <laughs> All right, bye, buddy. You gotta go back. So we're starting our self-guided Manitoulin Island tour with the Cup and Saucer Trail. It's a two and a half hour round trip. Guys, that dog. <laughs> we're gonna get in trouble with his owner. We're not trying to lure him with us or anything. There's also a stray dog that's following us. He's not stray. He's got a collar. He's got a collar. He's not stray. He's, he's just a little faster than his owner. Yeah. But the trail is a two and a half mile round trip um, trail that goes through the Niagara Escarpment. And we should be able to get a pretty good view of it. Just <laughs> us and our dog. <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> Can I check your, uh, hey buddy. Can I check your, uh, Oh my gosh, your hey buddy, good boy. Oh. Oh, no, don't jump. Too friendly. <laughs> Too friendly. <laughs> Should we Did take him back? Tag? No, I don't know. Should we take him back? Maybe let's walk him back. He's definitely following us, and I don't yeah. want to lead him away from his owner. So. <laughs> this is such a well-behaved dog. I know. I hate to give him back. <laughs> All right, come on, buddy. Let's go find your owner. Come on. He'll come. <laughs> He'll He's not ready. <laughs> Well, we were ready to take him back to his owner in the parking lot, but uh, but he just ran off, so. Uh -huh. And there's nobody out in the parking lot, so I don't really want to start knocking on people's cars. Yeah. Maybe if we're quiet, he won't follow us anymore. That's a good idea. I don't mind, but I don't want to lead him away from his owner and then have him get lost. It's kind of a long hike, so. The phrase escarpment is pretty new to us. We just learned about it when we crossed over into Canada. I think that's it right there. It's really hard to see, but there's a cliff. But we're gonna get a better view uh, down the trail, but I think we're starting to see it. From what I understand, the escarpment is huge. Like, I would say hundreds and hundreds of kilometers. It's basically just where the ground is up really high and then it just drops drastically down and there's this huge divide and it's called the Niagara Escarpment. I'm pretty sure it starts in uh, New York and it crosses all the way through. Oh really? Yeah. So it's really, really big. All the signs that mean like, don't go past this point, please help us preserve the land. They just say, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I've always heard the stereotype that Canadians are really nice and really friendly and like will kind of go out of their way to accommodate you. And the idea that instead of no trespassing, they say, please, <laughs> it just really cracks me up. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Yeah. 
<laughs> Jeez. Come on, Jimmy. I don't think it comes across on camera, but this is probably one of the scariest things we've come across on a hike. This is smack in the middle of the hiking path, and we haven't seen anything like this, no warnings for anything like this. But this hole is at least 10 feet deep, and the opening is about this wide. Oh, at least that deep. I, think, I can see it goes all the way down. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely being conservative about it, but it's enough to get very stuck and injured. <laughs> it's not a hard step, it's just a, it's a little scary. Okay. It's like, it's really not bad, but it's just, it's crazy. Like you just come up on it and you look down and you're like, what is that? I think that just means we're getting closer to the lookout. We've been hiking up the escarpment the entire time and I was starting to see more and more cliffs. Oh. I feel like I usually don't mind getting close to cliffs to look over, but this one, uh-uh, I'm not doing it. So that's the Niagara Escarpment, and the big lake over there is Lake Manitou. We are hundreds of feet above the tops of these trees. We drove a little ways down the road. We're now at Bridalville Falls. Pretty much every person we've talked to since we've gotten to like the Tobermory, Manitoulin Island area has told us that we need to go here. And Jimmy's trying to talk me into doing a cold plunge. It's on our bucket list. I don't know, I didn't write it down. I don't know if I agreed to that. We did a cold plunge like already this year. <laughs> I don't know if I'm up for it. Wow. And I wasn't expecting much of a hike, but this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> there's the falls right there. And there's the van. Do you want to do it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. All right, we're doing this for our bucket list. Three, two, two one. Oh, oh shit. Is that good? Yeah. Are we good? We're good. Alright, one yeah. more. <laughs> I feel like I could go in again. Alright, I'm out. I'm done. You're crazy. All right, that was really cold, but 100% worth it. Yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> but hey, we knocked that off our Canada bucket list. Yeah, I didn't realize we'd put it on the bucket list. I thought Jimmy was like naming suggestions. I didn't know we agreed to it, <laughs> but I'm glad we did it now. That was a good call, Jimmy. Thanks. What she doesn't know is we're gonna go in Lake Louise when we get to Banff. What? <laughs> <laughs> Should we just go back to the campsite? I don't know, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we spent a lot longer at um, the falls than we thought. It's 5.30. <gasps> Did you know that? Are you serious? Yeah. That's probably fine. We had three things picked out we really wanted to do on the island, but the third one's just another lookout. And 
I think I underestimated the trail we went on this morning and I feel like we got our fill of the lookouts. Yeah, I'm all looked out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So I guess we're just gonna head back to the campsite. I don't really know where that leaves us with this video, so we might end it here. Um, if not, we'll pick you back up in the morning, but we might just end it here. <laughs> we're super organized. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. We are hundreds of feet. Kilometers. We're a hundred, yeah, kilometers. Meters. Meters, <laughs> meters my bad. Yeah, hundreds of kilometers. <laughs> we're hundreds of meters. Well, let's see, uh, meters are like three meters to a, or three feet to a foot, three feet, whatever. You could say feet. Yeah. <laughs> we are hundreds of feet above the tops of these trees. 